hey what is going on guys it is your boy king superior aka the delay god you know what i'm saying y'all see me chilling in my crib chilling in my mansion you know what i'm saying now look bro now i know i haven't posted in a few days now the reason i haven't posted in a few days bro you already know once i bro once i take a few days off on 2k it's because i've been grinding so let me show y'all my percent before we get into this you see i'm at 86 percent to legend it's the only reason i've been slacking on youtube i've been grinding bro you know what i'm saying Beats about to be tonight, so I'm about to go crazy. Now look, dog, we're here for one reason. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been asking me for my signature styles for the past two to three weeks. Constantly, my DMs in uh, in the comment section. That's all y'all been asking for, yo. Drop your six, drop your six, drop your six, drop your six. So here we go, man. I'm finna show y'all my signature styles. Now, not only am I gonna show you guys my signature styles, y'all, you guys know I always go that extra mile to throw a little extra something in there for y'all, dog. Today I'm going to show you guys my signature styles and then I'm going to show you guys all the best signature styles, okay? Now this video is going to be heavily based on uh, size of package because size of package determines how your player dribbles overall, okay? Your size of package is the most important dribble move, bro. It really changes everything. It changes the speed of your dribble. It changes how low your player dribble. It, it literally ch changes everything, bro. It changes the entire way your player dribbles. So I'm going to show you guys all the best uh, sides of packages and uh, the perks uh, of some of them and some of the cons for the uh, sides of packages. So without further ado, man, let's jump into my signature styles. Let me show you guys the signature styles that I actually use. <clears throat> so here we go, man. All right. So for my dribble style, personally, I use Chris Paul. Now, I haven't seen anybody else at all in this entire community that uses Chris Paul. Now, there might be one or two people out there that do use Chris Paul, but for the most part, I'm the only person that I know personally that use this uh, dribble style, okay? All the dribble moves that I use, I use them because that's how I dribble. I didn't look at nobody's videos to choose any of these. This is literally how I dribble, okay? So, I, that's that's probably why I'm the only person that I have ever seen use uh, Chris Paul dribble style. It's a crazy dribble style. Now, for the size of package, I use Zach Levine, okay? For the moving crossover, I use Pro 2. For the moving behind the back, I use Pro 6. Moving spin, I use Pro 4. Moving hesitation, Pro 3. Triple threat style, WNBA 2. And for my hop jumper, I use hop jumper, normal 21, okay? Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Now, I changed my signature styles um, a lot. I haven't changed these in a while. Though. I've been using these for like two, three weeks now. Uh, but for the most part, I normally do change my signature styles a lot. Now, after the previous patch, they did buff some uh, mo they did buff some um, moves and uh, some badges and stuff like that. So because of that, I'm gonna end up changing my signature styles again. Now, ankle breaker got another buff. Difficult shot got another buff. So what I'm gonna do personally, I'm gonna switch back to normal two hot jumper because this gives you the most ankle breakers. Okay. So what I'm personally gonna do is I'm gonna uh, put shot space creator back on. And I'm going to do this hop jumper to get easy ankle breakers, okay? I'm close to legend, so I'm going to have a whole bunch more playmaking badges, okay? So I'm going to change this back to hop jumper normal two simply because of the previous patch, all right? Now, let me show you guys some of the best sig uh, the best dribble mode. The best signature styles for every single category. Now, for the dribble style, Chris Paul is one of the best ones. Quick is one of the best ones. Jason Kidd is one of the best ones, okay? Kyrie Irving as well, all right? These are the best, some of the best uh, dribble styles in the game. Shout out my man Stumpy, shit. Now look, for the size of package, there's a few good size of package. I'll say about six, like four to six size of packages, good ones in the game. Now there are a few size of packages that basically do the same thing. Uh, so in so technically it's only like four good size of packages, but if you're gonna count in the ones that basically do the same thing, it's about six, six of them, six or seven of them, all right? So let me show you guys some of the best size of packages in the game. Now once, once I'm done, uh, telling you guys all the best uh, gym modes in every category what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to the size of package and I'm gonna go a little bit in depth on the size of packages okay now for the size of package here are some of the best ones in the game pro 2 pro 6 Kobe Bryant Steph Curry Zach Levine Allen Iverson and Kyrie Irving all right now you guys you have a whole bunch of different size of packages so I know what I'm talking about I've been using a bunch of these throughout the year and I know the ones that are not not really good you know what I'm saying I have a lot of experience with these size of packages because you can see I have a lot of them bought okay and I have 10 different player builds okay so I have, I have I have other size of packages and other different players so I I know what I'm talking about I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna go in depth in a bit but let me continue now for the moving crossover I use pro 2 and normal 3 I'm actually gonna switch back to normal 3 as well but 
for both of these crossovers you could do an up court spam i made a video on that i'll have it in the cards above right now um there's an up court spam that you could do with both of these moves if you want to go check it out you can go ahead and check that out okay pretty crazy now for the moving behind the back i got pro 6 and pro 3 these are the two that i use um there's probably other good ones out there but these two are the my favorite ones i've been using pro 6 down there all year at the beginning of the year i used to use pro 3 but now i use pro 6 because i combo out of pro 6 a lot okay <clears throat> For the movement spins, I use Pro 4. There's a few good ones. You got Normal 6. Crazy if you're not on a speed boost and build or a build that can get pro moves. Normal 6 is probably one of the best crossovers you want to use if you like to do that ISO spin. Basic 1 right here is one of the craziest um, spins in the game. Also, if you cannot speed boost, if you're on a stretch or a, a rebound new wing or just a shooting build that can't get pro moves. This is probably your best bet, bro. If you're on a shooting build that cannot speed boost, basic one is going to be your best friend. You know that sharp, immediate, instant spin back a lot of people do then shoot like Bandit. Bandit likes to do that uh, instant spin back. This is from basic one, okay? Now, I have made a tutorial on how to do this move as well. If you want to check that out, I will have a card again at the top for this, how to... Uh, uh, properly utilize the basic one spin. I will have uh, the card to that. I made a video on that before. Now, um, Pro 3, Pro 4, Pro 5. These are the best spin uh, in the game. You know what I'm saying? I currently use Pro 4, and I'm probably forever gonna use Pro 4. Now, I recently made a stretch. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk about that yet, cause that's gonna be a crazy. That's gonna be one of my legend builds. But once I, um, once I'm done grinding him, I'm gonna use basic one spin on him. Simply, as a matter of fact, I could get Pro moves on my stretch too. It's the way I made my stretch. So I'll, I'll probably still use Pro 4 because I made my stretch crazy, like different from everybody else, man. Y'all gonna see when I when I. Actually reveal him now um for the moving hesitation i use pro 3 um pro 1 was one of the best uh hesitations early in the game i don't really think a lot of people use it anymore before uh after the behind the back got patched but it's a decent it's a decent uh hesitation pro 8 and pro 5 pro 1 pro 3 pro 5 pro 8 those are uh some of the best hesitations in the game you know what i'm saying but i'm forever gonna use pro 3 i'm never gonna switch back to anything really i probably use pro 8 every once in a while if i feel like not trying because this is this is one of the easiest moves you could just literally cheese people with the uh with the hesitation 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 and speed boost to the ring you know what i'm saying if you don't feel like trying bro I, you could use pro 8 like there are days when i literally don't feel like trying bro i'll put pro 8 on and just spam it all game you know what i'm saying but for the most part i use pro 3 because it takes more skill so i use pro 3 all right now for the triple Threat styles, I use WNBA 2 and early in the year, I used to use normal 2. I don't have it on display right here because this was not my first build, but I'm using WNBA style 2. I think this is the best one in my opinion, all right? Now, now that I'm done telling you guys all the best uh, moves in every category, I'm going to go into the size of packages and I'm going to break it down a little bit for y'all, okay? Now, <clears throat> I used to use uh, Steph Curry a few months ago. Um, if you're watching this video, you probably know why. I use a Steph Curry. You probably know why a lot of other people use a Steph Curry. Now, a lot of people use a Steph Curry because you get that instant glitchy between the legs. Now, I also made a video on that. If you guys want to check that out, I will have a card at the top right now. You can go check that out if you want. But the Zach Levine and um, Pro 2 is the exact same as a Steph Curry when it comes to the glitchy between the legs. Those three moves give you the same glitchy between the legs. So, that's one of the main reasons people uh, use uh, their different size up because they want to get that glitchy between the legs. So if you want to get the glitchy between the legs, you can use Pro 2, Steph Curry, or Zach Levine. Now, after using all three of them, I feel like Zach Levine is the best one for me personally. Now, some people will argue that Pro 2 is the best one, but it really just depends on how you dribble. Now, a lot of people ask me, yo, King, what are, what are some of the best dribble moves or what move should I use? Now, I cannot really answer that question for you simply because I don't know how you dribble, okay? Choosing your signature styles really and truly depends on how you dribble. Now, if you played a few games with me or you've been playing with me all day and then you ask me what your moves I could use or what your moves I should use, that's when I'll be able to help you because at that point, I already know how you play and I would know what your moves best suits your play style. But if you just ask me the DMs or off-rip, yo, what your moves I should use, I cannot really answer that question because I don't know how you dribble and choosing your dribble moves, like I said, really depends on how you dribble your play style, okay? So... If you're like an ISO build, I think these three uh, size up packages are the best size up packages to use. Pro 2, Steph Curry, and Zach Levine. If you're a build that you like to use a lot of screens, um, I recommend Pro 6, Allen Iverson, or or even, um, whatchamacallit, um, Kyrie Irving. Now I'm going to explain uh, explain that in a minute, but before, let me just show you guys the glitchy between the, 
between the legs that I'm talking about real quick. I'm going to hop on the court and finish show y'all that real quick. Now, um, like I said, you can choose whatever signature styles you want out of the three of them. Steph Curry, Zach Levine, or Pro 2. I made a tutorial on the glitchy between the legs. I'm not going to be telling you guys how to do that in this video. I'm just going to show you guys what I'm talking about. Hold on. This glitchy between the legs right there. You know what I'm saying? You probably see a lot of people do it behind screens and stuff like that. Um, that's how you do it. You need those three size ups to do it, all right? <clears throat> now, another reason why people would, would use our signatures, I mean, size up packages, is to crab people, okay? Now, if you're on a shooting archetype or an archetype that like to use screens or your, your, or your play style is like you like to use screens, you want to get a, a signature style that's going to allow you to crab people, okay? You want a signature style that's going to allow you to crab people. If you're on a shooting build, let me show you guys some of the best uh, size of packages you could use in the game. All right, now if you're on a shooting build, I recommend Pro 6. Pro 6 is probably the best um, size of packages if you're on a build that you need screens, okay? Or you like to use screens or you want to crab. This is probably the best size of package to use when it comes to crabbing. Now I'm going to go on the court and show you guys what I'm talking about right now. Let me pick the ball up real quick and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about with the crab. Now, if you play a lot of comp stage or you see a lot of comp players uh, play, you'll notice that they'll use a screen and then they'll do a little, they'll do this on the other side and then shoot. Now, the reason why they do that is to get the player stuck behind them. This move right here gets the player stuck, okay? So, let's say my guy is setting a screen on the right side, okay? Let's say, just imagine this, pretend that there's a guy, my team is on the right side setting a screen. What they would do is it speed boost on that side, okay? Around the screen, now my, my screen is on the left. The, the player, uh, the defender is going to be coming from the left, chasing me. What they, they, they'll normally do at that point is they'll do this, and then they get stuck behind him, and then they shoot. Okay? Now, I'm not even on a shooting bill, and I'm green. This is my slashing playmaker, 62-3. I have a 62 three-point rating, okay? So, if I'm missing, give me an easy time. I still agree with, uh, with him, though. But, yeah, that's what they'll normally do. So, the screen is on the right side. They'll speed boost over behind the screen. The guy, wait, the speed boost behind the screen. The guy's going to chase him. They do that, crowd them. They're stuck behind him. Then they pull it, and then bang, okay? So like I said, this uh, Pro 6 is probably the best um, size of package if you want to crowd people. It's probably the best for shooting bills, okay? Now you could also crowd with uh, some other with some other signature styles, some other size of package. I'm gonna show you guys another one that you could crowd with. You could crowd with you could crowd with Kobe as well. I'm gonna show you guys. You could crowd with Kobe. You could crowd with um, where is it? Size of package. You could crowd with Kobe. You could crowd with. Iverson. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the Iverson crab real quick. I'm gonna show you guys how to crab Iverson. Now, there's two ways you could actually crab Iverson. The way that I just showed you, and the way how to do that crab that I just showed you, um, it's pretty easy, bro. If the ball is in your right hand, you're gonna hold RT, and then you're gonna flick the ball over, flick the right stick over to the left. The ball is in your left hand, hold RT, flick the right stick over to the right. Or if it's in your right hand, you can still flick it to the right, and he'll go that direction. Wow, I thought I selected the shooter on, but yeah. So let me show you guys a way you could crab with the Allen Iverson. Now, a lot of people don't really use this version of the crab anymore. I don't really see a lot of people doing it like this. But it's that it's really, really simple, okay? So you could use the screen and all you flick the right stick up. He's going to do that. And a lot of times, this move gets players stuck behind you. A lot of people don't know how to properly use this move. A lot of people don't know how to properly crab people with this. So I'm not sure if I would necessarily recommend this if you're a beginner. But you can crab people with this. All you have to do is flick the right stick up and then you can shoot, okay? Now with the Iverson, you could also crab going to the left the same exact way as the Pro 6. Just like that, you could crab people with that, okay? Now with the Steph Curry, um, you could crab people with this move. But it's not as effective as the Pro 6 or Allen Iverson. It's really not as effective, okay? You could also crab people with the... Um, Kyrie Irving size up. It looks basically like the Allen Iverson. Those two signature styles are basically the same in a sense that uh, it makes your player dribble the same. You could get the fast momentum out of both, both of those. And just like the, uh, the Zach Levine, the Steph Curry, and the Pro 2, how they're similar, the Allen Iverson and Kyrie Irving are similar in their own way with a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff is really similar. The only thing is that's really different for a lot of these moves. Every move basically is the rhythm dribble but a lot of other things for some moves are basically the same stuff okay so i'm not going to show you guys the Kyrie irving um crab because it's basically the same as the Allen iverson well not the one that you flick up but the one that you go to the side okay but yeah man um kobe let me show you guys the kobe real quick now kobe i don't really recommend the kobe for like comp players or anybody that's really experienced i recommend kobe for like beginners you know what i'm saying i feel like the kobe is more of a beginner uh size of package 
But if you still want to use it, by all means, you could go ahead and use a Kobe simply because Kobe has the best rhythm dribble in the game. You get that quick between the legs. It's the fastest one in the game and you can speed boost out of it. You know what I'm saying? The best rhythm dribble in the game, hands down. You know what I'm saying? It's really an easy move you could depend on if you're not really good at the game or you're new to the game. You equip with Kobe and it's a quick move you could um, utilize. Now you could also crab with the Kobe, you know what I'm saying? Use the screen, speed boost over to the right, come back the other way, crab, bang. But the Kobe one, the Kobe crab to the right, I, I don't think it's as good as Pro 6. Pro 6 is the best one when it comes to crabbing. But you could also crab with the Kobe, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, that's basically it for the size of packages and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna, I got some, I got some more, uh, some moves coming for y'all, but right now I just want to hurry up and knock out my last bar to legend. You guys see my percent, I'm 86%. I got some crazy news for y'all, man, you know what I'm saying? If you're paying close attention to this video, you probably already have a hint. I got, got some crazy news for y'all. I made a big move, you know what I'm saying? And um, like I said, if you paid very close attention to this video, there was a hint in the video, like two or three times there was a hint in the video, you know what I'm saying? So you might know what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna talk about already, you know what I'm saying? But I will tell you guys that after I hit legend right now, I'm just focused on this legend bar. It's the main reason why I'm slacking right now. Y'all know I don't go that long without uploading. It's almost been like a week since I uploaded the video, but simply like I said, because I've been um, grinding my last, my last bar out, you know what I'm saying? But you focus on my last bar, 86% We have beats dropping tonight, so I'm gonna go crazy on beats on all servers I'm already missing the Asia because Asia uh, beats is going on right now I don't want to play in Asia. It's way too delayed. So I'm gonna save I'm just gonna play in EU East and West That's how you maximize on a rep you play in every server to get all the double rep you can get So by the time I'm done playing beats in every server I should be at like 90 something or maybe 99 you know what I'm saying so most likely my legend stream is gonna be Sunday um, my link to my mixer is in the description. I'm gonna be streaming on mixer. I need everybody to come through But yeah, man, my name is King Superior. If you guys need good drip moves I have a playlist in the description called NBA 2k20 tips and tutorial or tutorial and tips I can't remember which one of the words I had first But a link is in the description to a whole bunch of drip moves, man I got tons and tons and tons of dribble tutorials in that uh, playlist NBA 2k20 tips and tutorials So go ahead and check that out if you're looking for a new drip move and uh, hopefully this video did help you guys out, man. My name is King Superior, and I'll holler to you guys later, man. Peace.